United States, we're very lucky. We basically get water handed to us. You know, in other parts of the world, they don't. Without water, there's no life. In the Caribbean and in, in, in the Americas, they have water, but it's contaminated. And bad water quality, it affects people's lives. It affects how you grow, it affects your skin, it affects your intestinal system. So how they get water is that they'll take a five gallon bucket, they'll go to a, a stream or a shallow well, and they carry it to their house. Water that people bathe with, do their laundry in, cook with, drink, is all out of one water supply. 75% of what I see in the clinics there is a result of not having access to clean water. If you are racked with diarrheal diseases, your body doesn't develop. If your body doesn't develop, your brain doesn't develop. They spend 30 or 40 percent of their lives sick. You're not comfortable in your own skin. Like, you can't go out, you do your work. You, it's just, it's not, you know, you're not the same. I knew that I definitely wanted to do something. I wanted to not just give money, but to participate in the solution. It makes me feel proud to be part of water treatment in a different place. I think that it's been given the desire and it's been given the pleasure to appreciate the project. And we want to help our country to develop. We don't want to be called a third country anymore. We want to go out. I think that's all, someone that has the courage to make the change. Kids in the villages there told me that they were healthy, they were fine, they were better because they had filtered water. If there's one kid who doesn't get sick because we came down here, there's one kid who doesn't die. I mean, it's hard to quantify what doesn't happen. Water is life. Water is our passion. That's what we care about the most. And that's how we want to make our watermark on the world.